Ashley Cargill here, and this is it tonight. We hold the Joyce Grable Memorial Tournament. Here you see the eight participants, selected by Colin O'Toole and the match committee. The lead-off first round match will be Canadian legend Trish Stratus against patriotic Pam Parsons. Stratus frame poster graced my office wall. As beautiful as she is talented, Trish has become a total icon of women's pro wrestling. And from Huntington Beach, California, America's sweetheart, Pamela Parsons. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is gonna be good. Parsons, America's sweetheart, been with us for about five years now. She's a former ladies trio champion with Team Nuclear, and she's excited to have been selected for this tournament. Also of note, Tom just got through settling her differences with Liberty Bell Danielle, but I don't think either of them knows they were both selected for this tournament. And something tells me, that's gonna be a real short truce if they end up facing each other. One of the top names of the entire women's division, and she plans on showing exactly why here tonight. Let's have a quick look at the rules for these tournament matches. There is no time limit. There's a maximum 10 count outside the ring, and no seconds are allowed at ringside, so managers and valets are out of luck, and will just have to watch via monitors in the back. And we are set. First round matchup underway. The winner of this match goes on to the next stage of this tournament. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Nice amateur takedown. All the way over. Oh. Turning the tables there. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. What a collision. Trish Stratus thrives on the adulation of the WWE Universe, of the critics, even of her opponents. I honestly think she needs to drown all that out here and just focus more on getting the job done. We certainly know that she can get the job done, Corey. <laughs> Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. Smart move, weakening the knee that way. Limit your opponent's base. These two having an answer for everything. Up 
dropping the arm over that top rope, attacking the arm. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Caught with that sharp elbow. A series of reversals. Second rope. Are you kidding me? Wow. Guys, that might have been the best move song ever. She's still in this one. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Up high. Oh, look out. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you die ringside. Ooh. Clearly no love loss between these two with a display like that. Stratus needs to figure this out. Trish needs to reassess her strategy. Punishing stretch. That was not just painful on the shoulder. That pain can shoot all the way up to the neck and all the way down the arm. We'll be looking to end things here with the Cobra Clutch. Fading quickly. I'm going to tap out here, but it ain't going to matter. It's still Trying to break the grip. A series of elbows. Wow. close to a count out loss. Sit up, slam. This match is falling apart for her. We're about to see how tough she really is. She's in the ring now. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. The singles match has come to an end. Wow. Now let's take a look at some of the great tournament action we just had the pleasure of watching. Parsons using that shorter 10 count outside the ring to her advantage. Leaving Trish dazed outside the ring for a 10 count gets the win and scarcely breaks a Here's real sweat. America's sweetheart, Pamela Parsons. The out of the ring count getting the best of them tonight. The referee's count is more than enough time to get back in the ring. The loser only has the We'll return with the next first round match in a moment. Parsons go into the next round. We now turn our attention to the next first round matchup. Setting Jacqueline Moore against the Bell Council's destroyer of sandcastles, Virginia Austin. share of the Bell Council's work lately, and Virginia Austin was selected because of it. You'll remember her recent matches against women's world champ Jeannie Parker. The match committee decided that she's made a pretty serious impact, so that's how she got to here. Stage of this tournament. 
How humiliating. Just kicks to the face. Oh, foot just stomping down. Overhand shots and elbows and forearms. My God, what a striking display. Look at this. Dead looking man. Holding into a, a gun red suplex, but not done yet. Holding on for another a second gut red suplex. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. to the hand. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. From the top. Oh, oh, drop. oh it's a piercing elbow. And she continues to take on an overbearing offense. Yeah, she's having issues fighting back. Gets caught by the exploder. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. There's press and added damage. That was just disrespectful. It seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. She's sent to the outside. She re-enters the ring now. Caught with the Larian. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Oh, that backfired on her. Back elbow. How's that for a counter? Three. Around the neck. Into the STO. She's forced onto the defensive now. She's compromised. Oh my gosh. Terminating knee smash. Heading back to the ring. This is her time to shine, and don't you forget. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer. We could have been looking at a kick. And she goes for the pin. Kick out of one. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. into the corner. She manages to get control. And she has gained the advantage here. Yeah, she is absolutely showing no remorse. In defeat! Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. She's starting to drag a little bit. The amount of damage getting handed out here speaks to how much winning this tournament would mean to these competitors. the shoulders, turning the tables. Made her pay for her mistake. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Around the neck. Into the STO. Clawing at the opponent's face. Oh, look at this claw on the face. She's pushed into the corner. Running hip attack. What impact. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. Oh, my God. Can you believe it? Can you believe she powered? Virginia Austin with Jacqueline handling her masterfully to advance to round two where she'll face Pam Parsons to more first round matches ahead.
and we'll be right back. Here is your winner, Jacqueline. And she walks away with a big win. The entire women's division was watching this one, and she is the one to Just two open slots left for the semi-final round, and up next, it's the ninth wonder of the world. China, facing former tag champion, Autumn Breeze. The strongest woman in WWE history. The following contest is a championship first round match. The here we come ring from Redondo Beach, California. The ninth wonder of the world, China. I just hope we see that devastating powerbomb tonight from the ninth wonder of the world. I would give anything to watch you suffer that earth-shaking gorilla press slam, Saxton, from the ninth wonder of the world. She's power personified, China, a former ladies' legends champion, going up against former ladies' tag champion, Autumn Breeze, so this one should be explosive. matchups in this tournament, I'd say we've got one of the best in front of us right now. Look, I'll admit, I've had my fingers crossed it would work out this way. This one has real show-stealing potential. Oh, straight forearm! Ripcord applied. Boom! Knock him down. Ouch. Good timing with that reversal. Section. Oh, ouch! Kicks to the face. Hit up with a big one. Uh, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. Stop after stop. Relentless. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Distress showing on the face of China. Yeah, China's defensive instincts need to kick in. Corey, I think you and I both know you don't get a nickname like the Ninth Wonder of the World. No way! Somersault plancha! That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Oh, quite an effective counter. Ah, oh, she counters right back on China. Setting it up. Gets tossed back into the mat. And now she's looking to go top rope. From the top. Yeah. Oh, 
And the pressure on her keeps escalating. And biding her time and keeping her cool worked like a charm. China now very much on the wrong side of the attacks now. Inflicting pain at will. She's starting to tire a little. Well, we're deep into this tournament match. This is where things get serious. Oh, the point of the elbow finds the mark. Well scattered reversal there. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Oh my god, a clothesline! Oh, China with a military press! Look at the power! Oh, just disturbing power. Ooh. We got a cover! Shopper shoots up before two. We are this far into the match. Where is this energy coming from? Oh, stomping away. Things taking a turn for her now. Ah. Uh, might take her head clean off her shoulders. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Incoming! Splash! Now China asserting control. China's proven to be quite the force. Out of the ring, she has to mind the ten count. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. Boom. So take things into the ring. China scaling the turnbuckles. Taking flight. You gotta be kidding me. Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. Evades the attack. No, it's right to the side of the face. Oh, knee right to the face. China creates an opening with the counter. assistance punishing their opponent
Autumn Breeze avances to the semifinals and will return with the next match in a second. Here is your winner. First rounder is interesting for sure, as the one and only Charlotte Flair is set to face Liberty Bell Danielle Heathcote. Boys block Miss Charlotte Flair appearing as part of the ladies' legends division in this match with relative newcomer Danielle Heathcote. Man, look at the sheer arrogance of Charlotte Flair. She thinks she's the whole bottle, and then a drop. on Flair. Charlotte needs to find a way to reverse her fortunes. And again. Turn it 
continued effort to get out of this, to continue fighting, to survive. Look out! Oh yeah, she is really showing her confidence. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? And Charlotte being met with defiance there. When you're in a tournament situation, Cole, you tend to push yourself to your limits. Oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Charlotte is losing grasp of this match now. Clever strategy here. Clearly trying to prevent Charlotte from controlling the pace. Now the queen is off her rhythm. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Yes, she did. Into the knee drop. Oh, and she turns it around. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Setting foot in the ring now. She's back just in time. Thank goodness I did not want to count out. Side slam. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Sharp elbow. Oh, what a close line. Oh, man, she could be caught here. Bad situation for her. An uncanny showing of power. Charlotte Flair. Is she going to tap out? You gotta respect her continued effort to get out of this, to continue fighting, to survive. Got the underhook. Nice standing backbreaker and takedown. And she finds an answer to Charlotte. Back and forth from these competitors. Slap! Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, she did. Elbow. She's taking some big hits here. Placed in the corner. The queen putting in the work in the corner, making the climb to the top rope. Moonsault. No. Yes. Second chance worked out for the queen. No, she kicks out. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Of ring IQ on display there. These two having an answer for everything. But the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. Look at this. Flint shot across body. That was ridiculous. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Charlotte maintaining a ruthless attack. The Queen is holding the leverage in this match. back in from ringside. Telling her opponent that she has even more left in her tank. Oh no! Stop in the arm! Yikes! That will even wake you up or knock you out. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Determined stare that's come across her face. Incoming! Diving shoulder tackle. Scratching and clawing. This could be it. Well, surprise, surprise, surprise. How about this for an upset win? Danielle with a three count pinball over Charlotte Flair to advance to round two to face Autumn Breeze. And we'll return with those semi final matches after this. Semi final match one and 
Jacqueline returns, along with 3P Pam Parsons, with both contestants still pretty fresh from their previous first round matches. She is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in tonight's match. And coming into tonight, we know this superstar is focused on creating a stir in the women's division. Yeah, but facing her in the ring is a woman who's been salivating at this opportunity. A woman who's more dangerous now than she's ever been. Nasty knee. Knee right to the ankle. And again. Oh, stomping away. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Perched up top. Boom! Uh-oh, this is just vicious, vicious arm stop. Momentum's breaking away from her. She's got to reestablish herself back into the match now. Oh, jarring back elbow. The fatigue is setting in for her. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. My God, what a striking display. She steers clear of that one. Hurricane. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Taking flight. Oh, what a splash. Into the pin attack. She kicks out at one. She just shocked everyone in the ring. One arm hooked. Face buster. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Sit out. Slam. Quick thinking pays off. A counter answered by another counter. Cobra clutches in. Cobra clutches in. That a backbreaker. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. And now gets tossed into the ring. Kick. 
Left by the turnbuckles. They control the clock. What a tornado DDT. That hit the spot. She's finished. No, she kicks out. She kicks out. Her perseverance is unreal. Preserving her opportunity to keep this match alive. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. Things not going how she'd like. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. As the wrist trapped, and this is just next level brutality. Sidewalk slam! And she is rapidly dictating the pace. Really taking control here. Oh, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. Armbar! Cross armbar! Looking to rip a trophy out of the opposition. You gotta respect her continued effort to get out of this, to continue fighting, to survive. Ooh, she just turned it around. still has some fight left. She's trying so desperately to get back up to her feet. This can't go well. Oh, my right. Yeah, that's an attitude behind it. That might just do it. She did it. She picked up the victory. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. And strikes for gold again here coming on very strong against jackie and tough luck for her she is eliminated and pam parsons is just waiting to see who she's gonna face in the final round and let's find out when we come back here is your winner america's sweetheart pamela parsons cementing their name after that match definitely earning those accolades with that win Every single victory in this business means something. And you can tell just by looking at her reaction. Both contestants in this next one successfully eliminating two big name stars to face off in this semi-final matchup with Danielle and Autumn Breeze fighting for that final spot. her up. They have met once already in a tag match, but this is a very different situation, with way higher stakes. Look for Autumn to be very aggressive as this one goes along.
one of the top names in the entire women's division as she plans on showing exactly why here tonight. These superstars have weathered the early storm, and now it's time for them to start digging deep. This is where you separate the contenders from the pretenders. Softball slam! Ah. Uh. Just cranking the head. Oh, ouch! As the wrist trapped, and now a series of stomps and kicks. Oh, stop right to the hand. Oh, my goodness! Dynamite leaping tombstone. Trapping the wrist. Oh, what a knee. For the win. Two. Finally over. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another one. Well, you just have to be impressed with the in-ring skills of Danielle Heathcote here. With a surprise win yet again against a heavily favored opponent. Back with the go. So ironic final round in a moment. The final round for the Joyce Grable Memorial Championship is here. And it's come down to patriotic Pam Parsons and Danielle Heathcote. And this one has the making of a Shakespearean tragedy. The following contest is the final in the championship tournament and is for the Women's Honor Heritage Championship. Making her way to the ring, representing the Union from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the All-American Bell. Ladies and gentlemen, by night's end, we will crown a new champion. No offense to you, Cole, but part of me wishes Gorilla Monsoon was here for this match, just so we can hear him say, history has been made at the conclusion. Byron, walking around backstage earlier today, I can tell you that People are talking about just how loyal she's become. And when you're that trustworthy, Michael, I'm willing to bet you have a long line of people looking to help watch your back. It was literally just yesterday in Rage in Baltimore where Pam Parson stepped up with a piece, offering to Danielle, and it looked for all the world as if their future friendship might prosper. But now, the two American beauties find themselves at odds for a championship title. I can't imagine either one being happy about this little twist of fate, but I think we are about to see the most pet by the estate wrestling match of the night. They have both got to be thinking about that handshake last night at Rage, but I couldn't tell you what they might be thinking about it. Another factor is they have already competed twice tonight, so they go into this last match, carrying all the battle damage from the previous ones. I'll tell you, whoever wins that championship belt at the end will have unquestionably earned it. Earlier today, guys, she told me just how proud she is of what she's done in the ring as of late. But if I know her, Michael, she's not even close to being satisfied. You can bet she has plenty more she wants to do over the course of her career. Title coveted by legends and hungry young talent alike.
And we are underway with the tournament finals. These superstars have left it all on the line, and they are one match away. Here's the pin title on the line. Here we go. She still fights out in one. She just will not give up, Cole. Jawbreaker. Pulled back into the hip toss. That offense really hitting her hard. Yeah, this is the type of damage that is going to really build in a tournament setting like this. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. She's got her where she wants her. Inside the ropes. Back elbow. Did you see that? Go for the arm bar and a punishing stretch. Swinging neck breaker and a unique splash. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Wearing down that shoulder there. And up the turnbuckles we go. Taking flight. Diving body splash. And she's showing that she still has fight left in her. An outstanding surge at exactly the right time. A well-timed dodge. Look at this athleticism. Unique takedown. Here with the Cobra Clutch. Fading quickly. She's in a tremendous amount of pain. Is she going to tap out? Can she hold up? Trying to break the grip. A series of elbows. Wow. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Back in the ring now. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Ooh. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking from the top. Are you kidding me? She's been on the offensive for a little while now. She's unloading. Saturday for that special edition of Snarl. Till then, Wally Cardell saying thanks, be safe, and good night. <laughs>